brushed her hair prior with the Kinky Curly. This is the whole Kinky Curly line that I'm using again. And this is also on my page. Um, I'm washing her hair. I washed her hair with this uh, natural that I wanted to share with you. It's all natural product, sulfate free. But I spray washed her hair with it. So inside of here is water and the shampoo. I spray my first video. Uh, shampoo and water in here I spray washed it because her hair was you know uh, already in a style I didn't feel like taking her whole entire hair down so I just sprayed her hair massaged the stuff through her hair and then rinsed it out put the deep conditioner on and I'm getting ready to now um, add the leave-in conditioner which is for those who have kinky curly hair which hers is very kinky and what it says here is Generously work through trouble sections with a wide tooth comb for coarse hair like Carlina's. Use a generous amount as a leave-in and completely detangle hair before applying any kinky curly styling product. But what it does is it, if you can't get that comb to glide through your daughter's hair, it says, well, not today. This creamy herbal conditioner is enriched with botanical extracts and is designed to smooth cuticles and to remove knots, snarls, and tangles from thick curly hair. So you got those girls with thick curly hair, kinky curly, not today. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting ready, to, but I'm what I'm getting ready to do, I'm gonna give her the lock method. I'm gonna add this with the oil, so liquid. I'm gonna use some aloe vera juice, so then I'm gonna get that. Um, liquid oil. I'm going to use this Jamaican castor oil with coconut in it, which I love because coconut is the best oil for her hair. It slides right through. So I like castor oil, but castor oil can be very thick for her hair, especially if you have thick, dry hair or very hair that's prone to tangles. You need coconut oil. That stuff really glides through her hair. So I add so this is the product that I use for her hair, which has coconut in it too. And I use it for myself as well. And it keeps her hair strong and prevents breakage and other things as well. But yeah, we're getting ready to really deeply moisturize her hair. So liquid is going to be aloe vera juice. I'm going to put my cream. It's going to be the not today. And I'm going to go get that aloe and mix that all together. So this is my aloe. And I put it in a cup. And I'm going to add it on in there. Really not today. We're gonna smooth those cuticles today like a relaxer. And but I love her curls, so that's not the main focus. I just want her hair smooth today. <laughs> and the castor oil. And I'm probably gonna add some water to it as well. And I usually make sure that I got a lot of, of this. All right, and then I'm just going to shake it up. And um, some reverse osmosis water. This water you can get from Outpost or Walmart, and when you refill it, it's just 39 cents. So I really like that because of that. It's just like distilled water. And I'm going to add some of that to it as well. And then shake it up. It'll be a few minutes for all that. That was warps, but basically that's all that I'm going to do. Shake it up and add it to her hair when she gets up. So I'll show you how her hair looks when she gets up. And this is how it looks, all shaken up. I sometimes warm it up too, just to help it to blend a little bit. But for the most part, this is how it looks. Carlina's current fall regimen. Okay, so I'm adding my mixture onto her hair, which has aloe vera in it, castor oil, and the not today leave-in conditioner. 
and it's supposed to take out the knots. And I added the oil so that she'll have some moisture and shine into her hair, still shine in her hair. And they all, all of the products smooth her cuticle. Can you guys see that? Let me finish for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that keeps curly not today. He's keeping all these tangles at bay. What? <laughs> <laughs> What is that? Alright. <laughs> what? What? What is that? Girl. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah. Girl, you know what that was. Kinky Curly today. It's called Kinky Curly Not Today. That's Kinky. what we using today. Kinky Curly Not Today. You said bay. <laughs> we keeping those curls. We keeping those kinks from being... You forgot. <laughs> I don't know what I said. Something about Bay. I was like, huh? What's going on? Keeping those curls. Up. I don't know what I said, so whatever. There we go. First French braid. French braid that, and then I test the oil, some uh, Kinky Curl leave in conditioner and uh, aloe vera juice and I'm adding that to the ends of her hair to make sure that they are smooth and some coconut oil and just really just making sure that her hair is smooth and when it when I twist it up it's going to be curly and straight and her ends are going to be smooth because you don't want those ends to be tangled up you want them to be smooth just like you blow dried it so you'll have to go through and just work through all the way to the ends to make sure that it's completely smooth. And as you can see, like right here, it's not, so I'm gonna make sure that, that smooths out. All right. Okay, so I just um, took her hair down from those um, French braids and style I just had in. Um, and you know, I told you I was going to stretch her hair out, so basically I did, and this is how her hair looks now. And so now I'm just adding coconut oil to stretch it even further. And, yeah, it's straightened out like I blow dried it. Seal it, and then I'm going to seal it with some black castor oh, oil. And that just straightens it even more. Seals the, the straightening process naturally. What? <laughs> All right.